Hi, I'm Lauren London, and I play Pam. My name is Michael B. Jordan, and I play uh, John Kelly, Pam's husband. You know, we thought it would be cool to ask each other questions about our characters and just, you know, experiences around the movie. There is a bowl full of questions that we have not seen that have to do with our characters, mm -hmm. and I'm going to pick up a question and ask him, and then he will pick up a piece of paper with a question on it and then ask me. How did you meet? The Christmas party. I think I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm defer, defer to the Christmas party. Right? I mean, because yeah. it wasn't, I feel, it wasn't, it was like a group of young actors. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like, it was a mix of people in Hollywood, black people in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there was a group of us that were young actors. Trapping we were up. in that yeah, circle. Yeah, yeah. That was, that's what I remember the most. Yeah. Most memorable moment on set with each other. Oh. The bonfire scene. I had to be very transparent and trust my scene partner because it was very raw. And because it was, I took something from that that I will take home. So I think that was the most memorable scene for me. Yeah, I would say that scene, the bonfire on the beach, was like very emotional and very, you know, like I'll never forget that as long as I live. I will miss you. I know. It's OK that feeling and exchange that we had where like art you know took a back seat to like life who proposed john or pam and how well you know i'm gonna tell the story you slid in my dms you know oh That's my what God. <laughs> Nah. No. That was a 2019. That was a 2019 answer. I don't yeah, think. Yeah, I don't yeah. think John has social media like at all. Not at all. I feel like maybe I propose. I feel like I was like high school sweethearts, you know, kind of knowing this girl like my entire life, and then <laughs> like building up the courage to be like, you know, like, yeah. is this what we're gonna do? Can we take this to the next level? I think I was kind of like a little nervous about that stuff, so. So in my mind, I'm like, John probably was like, took her to the fair, got her a big teddy bear, like very simple, home and safe. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of envisioned right? that too. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not no elaborate no, like situation. Yeah, it was like situation. cotton candy churro on the stick, and it was like, it's my favorite ride. I'm getting on me. Will you marry me? Oh my god. I, I, I kind of, yeah, I kind of envisioned something like mm -hmm. that, or like he maybe overthought it and tried to do something crazy, and it just didn't work or it failed, and he just had to like. Yeah, yeah, he definitely overthought it. You remember this night? Yeah, I remember that dress and those shoes. Uh. Do you have vivid dreams? Hmm. If so, what do they mean to you, to your character? So there is the dream sequence in the movie mm -hmm. that when I read it, resonated because I am a vivid dreamer. It's a little bit of a sixth sense for me mm -hmm. that I do have very vivid dreams. They're very clear and special. So when we did the scenes where Pam is in a dream sequence, it was very real. It was like a reality to mm. me. It didn't feel like it was fake. Because I do, I understand dreams and what they mean. I'm a random sporadic dreamer. Yeah. There's times where I don't dream at all or I don't remember them. And then there's some that I have like hardcore nightmares. I think my dreams in the form of the, of the character, John, I think he has more nightmares. I think because of the built up experiences that he's had, I think all the traumatic issues that he's, that he's had to deal with out in the field, I think his subconscious insecurities are mm -hmm. starting to play with him a little bit. And then obviously with the loss of his wife, those moments play on his regret, on his choices, on you know anything that he wish he could have done differently, I think, you know, kind of like manifests in, the, in those, in those um, subconscious. <laughs> Such a hard question for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Tell us. Tell us about John and Pam's relationship. I think John and Pam's relationship is simple yet very complex. Pam has been consistent in who she is and what she wants. And I feel like John went off and experienced things that changed him. I relate to my character because I know what it's like to be with a man on a mission, to selflessly support that mission and put myself to the side, my individual wants and needs mm -hmm. on a shelf for the love of my beloved and his mission. Going to war and taking life, making hard decisions, being put in morally conflicting situations and having to do what you had to do to survive. I felt like 
not being able to explain those things in fear of maybe you might look at me differently. And that's kind of where the movie picks up, at that crossroad between what life are you gonna put two feet into? What are you gonna fully commit to?